Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to get emoji on the original iPhone 2G today and show you guys how to remove the jailbreak but leave the emoji and I'll also show you guys how to leave battery percentage behind in case you didn't see my last video on the battery percentage for this thing. So let's get started. First thing you guys got to do before you do anything is go to settings, general, then turn off the auto lock. This will make sure everything works properly and does not fail because the phone is more likely to fail the jailbreak parts if you your phone auto locks. You guys see here, I've already done this process on my original iPod Touch here. You see, i am got the emojis and, I'm, and I am not even jailbroken. See, I even made room on the other page for Assidia and everything else right here. If you guys are wondering how did I get these is social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WeChat, and all these other ones on here. I'll make a video about that later on and how to do this. Okay, so the first thing is go to Safari, then go to jailbreakme.com, go. So if you're using iPhone OS 3.1.2, 3.1.3, and 4.0.1, then you'll be using jailbreakme 2.0. Go ahead and slide to jailbreak. And just like that, my iPhone is not going to be jailbroken. So I'm not going to film this part of the video where it takes like four to five minutes just for it to jailbreak because I'll make this video excessively long. So after this is finished, then I'll come back. Okay, guys, so we're back and the jailbreak has finished. You see, it says Cydia has been active to the home screen. Have fun. So just a heads up for all you guys. If you want to make sure if this thing jailbreak your process works properly, you'll have to watch to the end of the video, all the way to the end. That will allow this process to work for you guys on the first try. So then open Cydia. Then it'll ask you if, you if you're a user, hacker, or developer. I would click user just to be safe. Now, it's gonna download all the packages and everything. So I'll come back once this is done, but you guys will have to not like go off after you see me, me waiting for this stuff because it's very important guys watching chill is the most important part for this to work. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back and the downloading for the package of the resources have finished, but this is important. You will have to upgrade the essentials, but not at this moment because you'll have to install a source before you guys do this. So just hit ignore for now, then go to manage so this can be older version. We're gonna be upgrading the essentials after we add the source in. It will make this process a lot easier. Then click edit, add, and this source will also be used for the next video on how to install the social media apps you just saw in here a while ago. So for the source we add is Cydia dot in Foxy Play Games dot UK. So this is the source where we're going to be installing a special tweak that'll fix the city of server errors after we update. So I'm going to add the source and now it's updating the source. So basically what we're going to do is there's actually a special tweak in there called each city HTML fixer. What this will do is if we're up to the latest version, like I told you guys before, it'll say network connection error, but the tweak in there that says city HTTP fixer will fix that. And see, since we did it now, it gave us some error messages, but it still worked. So the, it did actually add the source, even though it got some pop-up errors. Now, after we do this, then we upgrade the essential. So after this is done, like completed, like reloading, then we're going to update the essential. So I'll come back once this is done loading. Okay, guys, so we're back, and the source has completed. So I hit return Cydia, and now you see it added a new source called in Foxy Play Game Cydia repo. So when I click in here, you'll see these are the, to, this is the tweak you'll need. Cydia HTT patch. Basically, it, it actually makes it so Cydia will work on the newer servers after you upgrade the essentials. Okay, so after you add this source, then you go to changes. So this is where you go to upgrade the essentials. Okay, here we go. So then you click this button up top, upgrade essentials 22. It's 22 packages to update, which is totally normal because this phone is old, so it's gonna hang. There we go. So basically, we're gonna be upgrading all these tweaks right here. So it's gonna replace all the repos with newer versions. 
Okay, so now it's running, and now you see what it's doing. It's downloading all the new systems and all the new updates for Cydia to upgrade to from 1.1.1, I think, to 1.1.34. That's the latest version of Cydia. It's downloading the newer version of installers and all that. So if you see it says download package manager, that means it's successful. Yeah, see, running DBN packager. If you see those and see the sort of the line, then you know it works. But removing some sources are normal because it's removing the older versions, then it's gonna re-add the back after the update is finished. But you guys gotta keep watching until the end because this after this, then the next part is very, very important. So I'll come back once this is done. Okay guys, so I'm back and the city update has finished. And when it said when it, when it's all done. There will be a close button at the top or down the bottom. This is a close Cydia. I've already done that. You see now I got the newer icon of Cydia from iOS 4 and later. So iOS 4, 5, and 6 use this logo right here. Which is really cool. So I'm not going to launch Cydia. So since this phone is going to be using a newer version of Cydia, the loading progress thing, it will not say loading for like a couple seconds. It's like 10, 20 seconds. Yeah, there we go. See, now it says loading. Now it should load up. I come back to you guys once it's done. Okay, guys, so we're back in the city. I has finally loaded, and as you guys see, here's the error I was telling you about. See, if you don't install the H city HTTP patch tweak, then this will happen. It'll say unable to load untrusted server certificate. To fix this, go to sources, then go to the Infoxy game repo that I just installed here, then go to tweaks, then Install this Cydia HTTP patch. This is the one you'll need. This is perfectly normal, but I have actually watched a video on how to fix this before. And what he's, the guy said is, you can still install tweaks even though it gives a network error. So basically, this will look like this, but it's actually installing the tweak in the background. So if I wait for like 10 seconds here, 20 seconds here, see, it reloading, it actually installed it. So it reloads data, then the reload button will change to close. So when it gets to this screen when installing a tweak, the patch tweak, do not hit reload. Just wait for it to say reloading data before you do anything. Now after it reloads here, then the reload button here will change to a close button. Now I'm gonna hit close, then my device will respring on its own. See, the button changed to close. Now when you hit close, it will respring, and Cydia should be working after this. So, I'll come back when the process is all done here. So it's about to restart here. Yeah, so the device is now restarted. And now I'm gonna come back to you guys once the city is loaded again. Okay guys, so we're back. And as you guys can see now, after we installed the Cydia HTTP patch tweak from Infox Games, Cydia now works. See, now Cydia will now connect to the servers. Guys, see I'm now on the latest version of Cydia 1.130. And now my device is ready to install the new tweak. So what I'm going to do now is off camera, I'm going to go ahead and install iFile and SB settings for the most next important parts after the emojis are installed. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I successfully installed iFile and SB settings. The SB settings was needed to give me my back my battery percentage like I needed. Now I can go back into Cydia and I'm going to install some another, and now I'm going to install the emoji tweak, the thing I need to enable the emojis. Back in City has now finished loading, finally. Now I'm going to go in here and look up emoji pad. That's the tweak, that's the Cydia tool we need in order to turn on the emojis. There's the Cydia tweak right there called emoji pad. This will allow me to access the emoji keyboard on my original iPhone. Best part is the iFiles needed to change the code so we can update it instead, instead of restore it. This will leave the emoji on even if this is removed. That's what it'll do. Now I'm going to click install. I need this here. Now lagging is totally normal. Confirm. And this is this is the quickest install actually out of all the city tweaks I've done. Just like that, the, the emoji pad is now installed. So pretty fast. Now click return to Cydia. And now we're done with Cydia. So now we go into the app on the home screen called Emoji Pad. So basically this allows to flip the internal switch inside the file system in order for the emojis to work. So there's the emoji keyboard. 
Now I switched it on. Now I go to settings. In order to enable it, I go to settings, general, keyboard, add a keyboard, then scroll down to Japanese. And there it is, emoji, just like that. So now I go to the notes, just, just to test it. And boom, there, there we go, just like that. We got emojis on the original iPhone, just like that. Okay, so after you enable the emojis, then you go to iFile, then this is where the next part comes in. Then you go out the system, library, core services, then we're gonna change the system version to 4.1. This will allow us to, you know, like update the device instead of restore it. First change the bill number to eight, B117. Then change this to 2010. Then change this to 4.1. Now I'm done. Now I'm going to do is restart the phone and hopefully this works. I've been having a lot of trouble with this thing all day. Okay, guys, so the phone is finished powering down. Turn 3, 2, 1. So there we go. So the phone is now going to, the reboot was to apply the changes to allow the iFile code to take effect. That's what it was allowed, that's what it, that's why the reboot needed to be done, is to allow the code to take effect. See, this is normal here. So if I see a progs bar across the screen, then that means the iFile code changes worked. Now it just takes a few seconds here. No, it's gonna be slow. I'd expect it was an old iPhone. Okay, there we go. The progress bar came up. That means it worked. It should come on here in a few seconds here. Okay, there we go. And would you look at that? The battery stayed on this time. Now, what we're going to do is go on our computer with iTunes 11.4 and update it. So I'm going to go to my computer now. Okay, guys, so I've got my iMac loaded with iTunes 11.4 and macOS Monterey. So this only works in Monterey as of right now. I couldn't get to work with Ventura just yet. So I'll be experimenting later on how to do that. But only iTunes 11.4 on the Mac desktop can restore this. So if you want guys want to know how to install iTunes, I'll leave the link in the description for where you can install iTunes for from. So I actually tried this with my original iPod Touch and iTunes 12 and Finder just wiped both devices. When I tried 11.4 iTunes with my original iPod Touch, it was successful. So now I'm gonna plug my device in to iTunes, just like this. And now iTunes should detect it. There it is, iPhone. So I'm gonna click up to the top where it says iPhone here. And that's this phone right here. So you can see version 4.1, but if you wanna see the build number, you tap on, you tap on the version number and you can see the build number from iTunes. Which is really cool. Next, I'm going to put my phone down. So on the keyboard, you'll have to hold the option key while you press check for update. This is the screen where you can select the IPSW for, from. So I basically got it from IPSW.me and that's where I got the file from. So let me go to my downloads here. There we go. It's this one right here. iPhone 1.1. 3.1.3. Now I'm going to double tap. And now if it says updating iPhone software, then that means I know it worked. So there we go. It's now going to start updating. So preparing iPhone for a software update. This is the screen you'll go to before. So sorry about that. My finder always pops up when I do this. It gets in the way. So is preparing iPhone for a software update. So if I see the thing where it says restoring, updating iPhone software, so it says, it says updating iPhone software, and that means I know it was successful for the iFile code changes. So now it's just waiting for iPhone. So when it says updating iPhone software, that means this was successful with the code changes and everything. The trick is to update it, not restore it. Because if it restores it, it will remove the code from the file. So, yep, there we go. Updating iPhone software. That means this was successful. So, 
you can see here, it'll change to a prox bar in a few seconds here. Yep, there we go. So once this is complete, I'll come back once this is finished. Okay guys, so I'm back, and as you guys can see, iTunes has successfully updated my phone. So now I don't need the charger anymore for this next couple parts here. So if I did this correctly, it should not have a spinning wheel, only the progress bar. Up oh, there we go, was successful because the progress bar came down but no spinning wheel near the Apple logo. So that means it was very successful. In a few seconds here, it should turn on here. So, wait in here. Ah, successful. You see the battery percentage is still turned on and we've still got emoji. You see, we're no longer jailbroken. So now, see so if the pro if this was successful, then you should still have the emojis in the battery percentage enabled. So let me turn my Wi-Fi off so I don't drain my battery. Okay, there we go. So this process was very, very successful. So you see, none of my data has been wiped and I still got battery percentage and emoji. So that is how you get both battery and emoji on the original iPhone in 2022. So that's basically it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up for the video.